color, day three. Today I wanted to share a little tip, a trick that I learned almost by accident. I was working with this paint, this exact color paint, and I was trying to get a really smooth finish for my drill press stand. That's what I was working on. I had purchased low lint rollers like these, and I pre-washed them, what you're supposed to do and everything you're supposed to do, but I was still getting lint in the paint, and I was really discouraged. It was quite a bit. I thought, what the heck? I'm gonna have to sand this down and start over. So I might as well try to finish sand it. And mind you, this is latex enamel paint. It's house paint. It's not something you typically think of as finishing with the sand like you would automotive paint or what have you. It turns out it works really well if you do it carefully. So I wanted to show you a demonstration of that. And what I did was I took this board and I had a piece of thin aluminum plate with a powder coating on top that forms a really nice smooth surface. So I cut out this section on the table saw and then I ripped a line between them just so you could see two different sides. I then went ahead and primed this using spray primer, gave it a light sand to smooth it out. And then I went back and I rolled on the paint. It actually didn't leave as much lint as I had been hoping. It feels weird to say that, but that's true. So I took this other roller and I rolled over it and shook off some lint as much as possible. And I got a pretty messy coating of lint, but you can feel it, you can see it, there is lint there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of 1000 grit sandpaper. This is especially sandpaper. It might be difficult to find this at the big box hardware stores, but you can find it at craft stores, specialty stores, paint shops, automotive paint shops, undoubtedly will be able to provide this for you and you can order it online. So it's a thousand grit sandpaper. And I'm gonna take a side. I'm just gonna go on this side. I'm gonna give this a, a really light sand and see how much of this lint I can take out. Here we go. It's not about sanding it down to repaint it. You want to get to the final finish. And that's what I'm going for here. So you can see some of the paint's coming off, but not, not terribly a lot. Oh, it's already looking a lot better. It looks really nice. And now granted, a couple qualifications. You're not gonna sand this down to a mirror finish. The latex paint, I mean, it's, it's, it's a rubbery texture, right? It's meant to conceal as much as possible. It's not gonna lend itself to aggressive sanding. That's why you use a thousand grit on it. But this quickly knocks down those high points of lint this looks really good, especially compared to how bad it was. It's a great little trick. Knowing that you can do this with latex paints opens up so many doors in terms of what you can do with latex. If you're careful, you can even create fine painted furniture. Um, thinking about a bookcase design, actually, where I would use latex paint uh, to cover some of the accent pieces. Anyway, take a look at that, see what you think, and consider doing that in your own projects in the near future.